Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. I'm going to remove the back of this device and uh, get access to the battery, show you how to replace the battery on your device. I heated the device for close to one minute using the highest setting on the heat gun. Then I use my suction cup in order to start pulling the back glass away from the body of the device. And as soon as you can see a small gap between those two, you need to insert a guitar pick and start moving the guitar pick on the bottom in order to start the separation of the back glass and the frame. Trying to remove the back glass on a device that is perfectly fine with a good back glass can be a little bit difficult. But if you see that the guitar pick is not moving around or it gets difficult to move the guitar pick, do not hesitate to hit the back glass of the device again in order to help you remove the back glass of the device without breaking it. So the way I proceed in order to not break the back glass is hit the area that I'm going to work next then use my guitar pick to separate the back glass from the frame of the device and I do that for all four corners. So now it is time to remove the back glass of this Galaxy S24 Plus. Also while moving the guitar pick around the device make sure that you do not insert the tip of the guitar pick far inside to avoid touching any of the components that are very close to the edge of the device. Right now we can see only a small part of the battery, we need to remove the wireless coil. This is the cable that I disconnected from the motherboard, then I started pulling from the top going to the bottom. This is the wireless coil of this Galaxy S24+. Plus. You can either pull it this way or remove all the screws, then remove the metal plate plus wireless coil plus the loudspeaker at the bottom. Now that all the screws on the metal plate has been removed, I can remove the metal plate and have a look at the battery cable. This is the battery cable, the one in yellow. Disconnect the battery cable, then we can start working at the bottom. Remove all the screws at the bottom of the device on the loudspeaker, then simply pull the loudspeaker out of the frame of the device. After doing that, we have access to the charging module and all the flex cables at the bottom connected to the top of the device on the motherboard. Simply disconnect all these flex cables one by one from the top to the bottom and then there is one flex cable which is for the 5G antenna. Disconnect that flex cable and remove those two screws holding the 5G antenna on the frame of the device. After a strong pull on the 5G antenna, you can remove it. Now for the battery of the Galaxy S24 Plus. There is this blue plastic that you need to undo first. After you have undone that blue plastic, this is the one that you're going to pull with a lot of strength in order to remove the battery out of the frame of the device. So the first thing for me, I am right-handed, so I have more strength on my right hand. So this is why I turned the device upside down and then I tried to pull the blue plastic with my right hand. So if you're left-handed, it might be the other way around. But for me and most people right-handed, it is going to be this way. You're going to pull with a lot of force in order to have the battery start moving. So my biggest complaint on Samsung for doing this design is the blue plastic is too short to have a strong grip on it and start pulling. So if in the future they can make that plastic a little bit longer so that you can have a stronger grip and pull it with a lot of force. Like this, I can pull it, but it is going to take multiple tries in order to start the battery moving and then eventually have the battery out of the device. If you do not have enough strength or you feel like you're not pulling or having a strong grip on this blue plastic, you can add a little bit of alcohol on top of the battery and then push the alcohol to the bottom and to the sides of the battery. The alcohol will soften the double-sided tape on the back of the battery and you will be able to remove the battery a lot more easily. I have done that in the past in previous videos if this is what you want to do. As for this Galaxy S24 Plus, it is starting to move slowly. The top is already moving. It is only the bottom that is not moving and right now after holding the bottom and pulling, the battery is moving 100%. And it is time to simply pull, keep pulling and remove the battery of this device. So at this point, the only thing that you need to do is to remove the battery out of the body of this device. So for me, from start to finish, removing the battery, I took 2 minutes and 18 seconds. So it wasn't too bad. It is less than 3 minutes. 
After you remove the battery, if the new battery does come with pull tab, you simply need to reattach the new pull tab and the battery inside the device. If it doesn't come with the new pull tab, remove the battery like I did it and then insert the new battery inside while leaving the double-sided tape that is already inside the frame of the device. Then you will put all the flex cables back, put all the screws, then at last put the battery cable, then seal the back with the back glass. You can check any of my back glass replacement on the Galaxy S24 Ultra S24 in order to have a better understanding on how to put a new back glass on the device.